Hi everyone, this is Ramakrishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss AP Set 2018 Calculus of Variations, question number 54 from paper 2. And uh, this is a repeated question. It was already in, in AP Set 2013, question number 29 from paper 2. Okay, now we will see the question. The curve on which the functional integral 0 to 1 y dash square plus 12 x y dy with initial conditions y of 0 is equal to 0 and y of 1 is equal to 1 can be x to minus is dash and the four options are option number 1 y is equal to x square option number 2 y square is equal to 4x option number 3 y is equal to x cube and option number 4 y is equal to sin x so we have to choose one correct option from these four and this is a question regarding whether the functional is x to minus or not and this is an application of euler lagrange equation so first we have to recall the euler lagrange equation so in the previous video we already discussed about the calculus of variations basics in that video we have already discussed about euler lagrange equation and different forms of euler lagrange's equation so so in the description box uh, i will providing the link of previous video once you go through that video, you will get some clarification about this Euler-Lagrange equation. So first we have to recall the Euler-Lagrange equation and the necessary and sufficient condition for i of y of x is equal to integral x1 to x2 capital F of x comma y comma y dash dx to be extremized is that dou f by dou y minus d by dx of dou f by dou y dash is equals to 0 which is called an Euler-Lagrange equation. So by using this equation, we can find whether the fun given functional is extremized or not. Okay, now coming to the solution of this problem, here we have, here, given f of x comma y comma y dash is equals to y dash square plus 12xy. Okay, so this is the uh, given function. Now, from this, first we have to find dou f by dou y, means partial derivative of f with respect to y, dou f by dou y and it is given by 12x because partial derivative of y with respect to y is dou f by dou y, means partial derivative of this function with respect to y. So that is 12xy partial derivative with respect to y is 12x, so that is the value of dou f by dou y and dou f by dou y dash means partial derivative of f with respect to y dash so here we have y dash square so partial derivative of this uh, term with respect to y dash is 2y dash now by euler lagrange equation we have dou f by dou y minus d by dx of dou f by dou y dash is equals to 0 now substituting these values in this equation we get therefore by Euler's equation means Euler's Lagrange equation that is dou f by dou y minus d by dx of dou f by dou y dash is equals to 0. So substituting these values in this equation we have 12x minus d by dx of dou f by dou y dash means 2y dash is equals to 0. Now simplification this equation we get d by dx of 2y dash is equals to 12x so integrating on both sides we get integral d by dx of 2y dash is equals to integral 12x into dx so on simplification we get here integration derivative will be gets cancelled this reminds with uh, 2y dash is equals to integral 12x dx here 12 is a constant so we can take it out from the integration and integral x dx value is x square by 2 so that means 12 into x square by 2 plus some constant c so by cancelling 2 we get uh, here y dash is equals to this can be written as cancelling with uh, 2 we have uh, this is uh, 3x square plus say some constant c1 where c1 is equals to say c by 2 is it clear now again by integrating we get on integrating we get here y dash integration is say y of x and this is equal to 
3 x square integration x square integration is x cube by 3 3 3 will be gets cancelled the it remains with x cube plus c1 with respect to integration x so this is uh, c1 x plus some um, integration constant say c2 okay so this is the value of y of x is equals to x cube plus c1 x plus uh, c2 but the in given initial conditions are so we have uh, here since given conditions initial conditions since y of 0 is equals to 0 that implies we have c1 value sorry c2 is equals to 0 because we have y of x is equals to x cube plus c1 x plus c2 so substituting y of 0 is equal to 0 that means whenever x is equal to 0 y value is also equal to 0 so from this substituting x equal to 0 we get y value is equal to 0 so here left hand side value y of x is equal to 0 on right hand side we remains with only c2 that is c2 value is equal to 0 because we are substituting x is equal to 0 so these are initial conditions and similarly we have another condition y of 1 is equals to 1 that means whenever x is equal to 1 y value is equal to 1 means y of x is equal to 1 so here left hand side value is equal to 1 on right hand side we get that is 1 is equal to x is equal to 1 means 1 plus c1 plus already c2 value is equal to 0 from this we get c2 is equal sorry c1 is equal to 0 because 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so we get c1 is also equal to 0 now substituting these initial conditions in the given curve y of x so we get therefore y of x means y is equal to only x cube it remains with only x cube so the option number option number 3 is correct this is the required answer okay so our option number 3 is the required answer is it clear i hope you like this video if you like the video please share subscribe thanks for watching